Hello everyone, welcome to TechTrade.com. So in last lecture we studied correlated nested query. Now in this lecture we will study exist function. So let's understand when do we use exist function. So let's say uh, in sub queries we have queries like this. So it's select then some attribute okay from relation in where clause we have some other nested query internal query right and now what we want is we want to calculate this outer query only if we have some result for this internal query okay so what we want to do check is that execute outer query only if we have some value for this inner query okay so in that that case we use function exist exist okay so this function exist is used to check whether the result of nested query is empty okay so if it is empty this external query will not be executed and if it is not empty then external query or outer query will be executed okay so let's write it down formally so as i already mentioned exist is a function right and we have some argument q which is a query okay and this function returns true only if this query q result i mean this query q has some tuple in the result okay if this query q returns empty value that is there is no record then this exist function will return false okay similarly when we have exist we can also have a keyword not okay so now the whole thing will be reversed that is not exist q okay and this not exist will act in reverse manner that is when it is false the entire thing using this not will be true okay so this is pr pretty obvious you understand i assume that you understand so let's have an example on this exist function to understand it better so in this example we have two relations professor having attribute eid and name student having attribute roll number name and advisor so this basically advisor will store the advisor id okay eid of advisor and it will refer to this okay so fine it's a foreign key okay now the query is get the employee id and name of the professor who is an advisor for at least one student okay so basically the professor detail who is advising at least one of the student okay so let's uh, change it and let's add one more constraint that is uh, who is advisor for at least one female student okay fine so now what we will do we will use this exist function which we have just learned and we will write the query so starting with what we have to list down that is eid and name so select eid name from professor relation professor as let's take this record as p now condition where so we have to list down the professor detail for which we have a student or female student advised by this professor okay so we have to use this exist okay so where exist now select roll number from student as let's take it as s now we will do condition checking that is where 
एस डॉट एडवाइजर इक्वल टू दिस पी डॉट ई आई डी राइट सो पी डॉट ई आई डी एंड एस डॉट ओके सो एज वी नीड वी आर चेकिंग द जेंडर ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वी ऑल्सो नीड टू हैव अ जेंडर कॉलम हेयर ओके सो लेट्स इंक्लूड इट लेट्स सेक्स ओके सो इट विल ऑल्सो स्टोर द वैल्यू एफ और एम दैट इज फीमेल और मेल वैल्यू राइट सो नाउ वी विल चेक एस डॉट सेक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ फाइन सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट अगेन हियर द फर्स्ट आउटर क्वारी विल सेलेक्ट द फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोफेसर एज पी ओके स्टार्टिंग विथ फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड इट विल सेलेक्ट इट एज पी नाउ इट विल चेक वेदर दिस प्रोफेसर हैव सम फीमेल स्टूडेंट एज आई मीन वेदर दिस प्रोफेसर हैज सम फीमेल स्टूडेंट ओके सो नाउ वी विल चेक विथ एग्जिस्ट फंक्शन ओके सो इफ दिस दिस क्वेरी इंटरनल क्वेरी रिटर्न्स इवन एटलीस्ट वन वैल्यू देन दिस विल बी ट्रू राइट सो सेलेक्ट रॉल नंबर फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट ओके सो फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट नाउ वी विल चेक एंड वी विल जस्ट सेलेक्ट रॉल नंबर ओके वी कैन सेलेक्ट नेम दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम फाइन सो सेलेक्ट रॉल नंबर फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट एज एस नाउ वी नीड टू कंपेयर दैट एस डॉट एडवाइजर should be this advisor for which we are checking okay advisor from the outer query that's why see we are using this p value p value here also right so when the value from outer query is used inside the inner query it's a correlated query right so p dot eid and s dot sex equal to f fine so for each record which is selected by outer query the inner query will execute and find out whether professor has some female student okay and if there is some female student it will return true and that record will be selected by outer query fine so i hope you understand it if you have any kind of doubt please go to the doubt section on techtoo.com select the particular topic that is um, exist function and then ask your doubt thanks for watching